Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the Smith Machine Shrug with a pronated grip. This exercise is great for your traps, which are basically your muscles in the upper back. Uh, first thing you want to do is adjust your start position, so right below the lowest point of your shrug is where you want to put this. Also, if, you're, if your Smith Machine has safeties, then make sure to put those even lower then your bar position just in case you drop the bar you can drop it on that instead of like on the floor but once you're in position stand up tall you can have a slight lean forward um that's fine just make sure that you keep your chin tucked and that you're not rolling your shoulders so this exercise is incredibly simple i mean it's not complicated at all keep your hands right around right outside of shoulder width with your feet around shoulder width apart and as you're doing it, just simply lower the scapula and then elevate it. That's pretty much it. So basically aim to bring your shoulders towards your ears with your chin tucked. And the reason I keep stressing your chin being tucked is because if you start looking up, you're going to start getting a lot of strain in your neck, especially as you start getting heavier. So with this exercise, I recommend you start off light. Just start off with the bar just so you get the movement if this is the first time you're doing it. Um, but then slowly increase the weight, I would say like by 10 pounds on each side and then work your way up. This is going to give you really full traps, really strong traps. Now, if you're a lady, your, your traps are going to get like crazy big. Um, the, the female uh, body does not produce enough testosterone in order to look like, let's say, a professional female bodybuilder. They are taking some type of drug in order to achieve that. So trust me, you're not going to get that big. But if you want to like add definition to that area as a woman, then you can definitely do that with this exercise. Uh, another thing to keep in mind that as you're doing it, you don't want to like, you want to do full range of motion. You don't just want to stay at the top and just shrug like a chicken. You want to make sure that you're doing it completely. So go all the way down, get the full stretch and then come up and contract your, uh, your traps there. And you can see my muscles working right on that upper back portion that we were talking about earlier. So just make sure that you do it correctly and you do it in a smooth and controlled fashion. Um, you can add this to your back workout as an elevated um, shrug. So here's some common mistakes. Bending your elbows. You just want to raise your shoulders and depress them. Nothing more. And also, you see, like I said before, don't keep your neck back. This is going to start pinching your neck and it's going to hurt over time. Also, don't compl don't tuck your chin in so much that you, you kind of look like this. You don't want that. Just keep it neutral. Just relax it. And also, do not roll your shoulders when you're doing this exercise. That's incredibly uh, unsafe. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications. And if you want to take it a step further and work with us or support the channel further, there are a few ways you could do that down below. Again, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and God bless you.